Hey, it's MJ, and I am just so excited to share with you the Hay House version of the Guardian of the Night Tarot. I have to just tell you, they knocked it out of the park. They totally knocked it out of the park. The, the box is, it just feels good. It feels so solid. It feels like a freaking brick. Like, I feel like if I were to throw this and hit somebody in the head, I could knock them out. <laughs> so maybe don't do that. Don't throw your deck, but it's just beautiful. Let's let's dive in, shall we? And I just want to let you guys know up front, I've had a horrible head cold for like the last three days, four days, and um, I'm going to try and make it through this this video without sneezing or coughing. No promises. Uh, it's been really rough. Like just even just focusing on responding to email has been really hard, but I'm excited about this. Like this is like, this is like a jolt. This was like a giant vitamin C boost <laughs> to my system, getting these decks. All right, it's the cure. It's the cure for the nasty head cold. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's talk about this box. This box is fabulous. I love this. I saw I saw this on my computer screen. Like they sent me a copy of what the, the print was going to look like that they would put in here and it looked great, but when you see it in person, it's just all the better. And I just, I love it. I love, love it. Okay, so let's talk about the deck itself and the guidebook. Let's get right to this. First, the guidebook. The guidebook is massive. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, I think anyone uh who had a question about the typeface of my previous guidebooks being a little bit small you're going to love this because it seems like it's the regular size typeface sometimes i would have to condense to keep within um, a certain number of pages but they they just went for it and i think we're at how many pages on here 163 pages in this guidebook so lovely guidebook lots of information in here um, when you're pulling a card you find all the information that you need. It also has the yes, no, maybe uh, oracle that I do. It has some spreads. It's I, I just think they did a great job on that guidebook. So, okay, anyway, let's talk about the deck itself. The backs are different. That is the big, well, it and the fronts are different too. The artwork is the same, but the back. So this is the back of my indie deck and they wanted to go with something different for Hay House. And I, I, I like that actually. I like having a, a different back when I'm publishing the deck through a publisher versus my own, my indie published decks. It kind of differentiates the decks. Um, so I designed this with uh, this idea of being a little bit more lighthearted. And uh, I've been going through a big B, <laughs> a B phase lately. <laughs> And so I drew inspiration on that with the moon. And let's take a look at the, the cards. Okay, so we have the full and let's, oh, here, I'll show you real quick here. So the difference really here, you can see um, in the indie deck is the borders different and I don't number my cards, but they number their cards and so I, I know that people love that. Maybe I should start doing that on my indie my indie decks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get right to it. The cards themselves, by the way, um, lovely, nice and solid. Um, good, like the, the the finish is matte. Oh my god, bear with me. I'm serious. It's like I have a little bit of brain fog here. Um, the finish is matte, so it looks, I, I love a matte finish. I hate glossy cards. It's just my personal preference. Um, so I I don't like anything distracting from the artwork. You know, sometimes it's a glare from a window or something. I like being able to see the artwork without worrying about a glare. Um, but let's, let's just go through these, shall we? I mean, those of you who are already familiar with this deck, you'll know like the artwork itself has not changed. Uh, Really, the big difference is the border. Oops, whoops. Sorry. It just, oh my God, this just looks so good. With that border too, the cards just sort of pop. They almost look three-dimensional. You know what I mean? Like, it almost looks like the image itself is, is sunken in a bit, 
So when you can, when you're reading it, you can kind of almost dive into the card. Oh my God, I love this. It's like they put a, a slight shadow there to make it look that, to give it that sort of recessed look. <clears throat> okay. Let's get the, go through these quickly here. Yeah, this is well. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Um, I know, not not energetically speaking, for sure, but compositionally, um, and just the 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 art itself. Um, yeah, I I like the the matte finish, the border, and how it does sort of have that three dimensional quality. I I feel like that one really stands out. Okay, sorry, I digress. <clears throat> And so here, we can see the difference here between, this is the Nine of Swords from Hay House and the Nine of Swords from the Indie deck. And the colors are a bit brighter um, on the Hay House deck. They pop a bit more than on my decks, or my on the original, on the Indie deck. But I think that also could be because of the border choice. You know, it's like an optical illusion. Okay. Pretty. I mean, even though, again, like four pentacles, not like the energy you want hanging around, but still that is, that one just came out so pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm doing, I'm going to do my best here not to cough. Okay. Oh, lovely. All right. Let's see how it shuffles because... That's the key here for me. I like it when I can shuffle a deck. All right, it's still, it's, these cards are a bit thicker than my indie cards, for sure. I mean, hands down, you can tell. I mean, um, you probably can't tell that way because it's straight on, but um, you can tell they're a bit thicker. Um, they're not as pliable, but they still shuffle nicely. I can't wait to break this in. So for those who really love a good, like, um, like a, 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 a stiffer card, I think you're going to love this deck. Oh, and it does, oh, this way, like a dream. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm just so thrilled. I can't begin to tell you. It's like, I, okay. Let's see what the first card is that comes out. What's the first pull? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what? It can, it's like, it's, it's still new. It's still, um, like it's freshly out of the box, but it still connects with me. And this is what I'm feeling right now. And I'm going to cry. So, <laughs> oh my God. I love you. Guardian of the night. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you for helping me get this deck to this point. Like seriously, it was not without you, like in your enthusiasm for the artwork that got it here. So I am just so thrilled. Thank you so much. Bye.